All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Core NFC to implement NFC tag reading on iOS with Swift 4 in Xcode 9 beta. So let's go. So like usual, I'm going to start by making a single view application just from the template, and I'm going to call it tag reader. OK, so one of the things you'll notice right away is that we have this bundle identifier. Now, I usually just gloss right over this and I don't really talk much about it because it doesn't matter. But in this case, it does matter because you need to set up some entitlements in the iTunes Developer Center. So go ahead and create the project and then you're going to need to grab this bundle ID and set some things up in iTunes Connect. Go to Certificates, IDs and Profiles and we're going to create a new app ID using the bundle identifier that we just set up. So new app ID, I'm going to call this Tag Reader. And it's an explicit app ID that's the same as what we have in Xcode. Okay. Now, when you're creating the app, or if you've already created the app, you need to go back and do it. But since I'm creating the app right now, I can click NFC Tag Reading as one of the uh, services that's enabled for this app. So click Continue. I already made this bundle ID, so the ID already exists. So I'm just going to put Tag Reader 2 and then hit Register. And that's it. You created your app ID. So I'm going to go ahead and create a file just called NFC Helper. And in this file, I'm going to import Core NFC, which is the uh, module that you need in order to use any of the NFC APIs. And I'm going to create a class called NFC Helper. So I'm going to create a session and basically what that's going to do is it's going to pull up a little prompt from the bottom of the iPhone screen saying that it's ready to start scanning tags. Now we don't really control this prompt, but uh, we can put in some customized text as I'll show you in a second. So we create a new session, first of all, and it's an NFCNDEF reader session. It's kind of a mouthful. You need to set the delegate and I'm going to set it to this class self. Don't really need a dispatch queue. It'll go ahead and use a serial queue by default if you don't specify one, and that's fine. Uh, and invalidate after first read, I'm going to set to true. So the first time it picks up a tag, the session's going to become invalidated. So in order to actually set the delegate, I need to go ahead and adhere to this protocol, the NFCNDEF reader session delegate protocol. They could have went with something a little simpler to, to say. Uh, Anyway, so it has these two functions that we have to implement. So I'm going to grab these headers. Actually, uh, I'm just going to let it autocomplete. So one of them is did invalidate, and the other one is did detect indefs. So when I adhere to a protocol, I like to mark it and say that that's what I'm doing here. Let that autocomplete. That's the did invalidate, and here's the did detect. So I'm just going to go ahead and log to the console, did Detects, and on this one, same thing, log to the console, did and validate. So this will basically just tell me that it's working. Uh, oh, this has to be, um, you have to inherit from NS object as well, because it's an NS uh, Objective-C object. And because of that, I actually need to override the init method. But you know what I'm going to do, actually? Instead of doing that, let's create a function just called, uh, we'll call it, uh, Let's go ahead and just create a function called restart session. And what that'll do is create a session. Well, it's going to be the exact same code here, but I'm going to get rid of the override on init altogether since I don't really need to do this in init and I ultimately don't want to. I want this to be done on demand, not just anytime I initialize this class NFC helper here. So now it relies on the creator of this class to uh, call restart session. The next thing you need to do if you're actually going to start the session is called begin. So this is all the code you really need to get a very basic level test in place. So I'm going to go in the view controller, which is where I'd be using this NFC helper and just instantiate one. And under view did load, I'm going to add a button. So when I press the button, I can make the prompt come up. All right, so now we got a whole new button that when I press it, it'll call this function. So I'm going to grab the, the helper now and just say restart session every time I do that. All right, so 
Got the app set up here. I'm going to tap read NFC. And it immediately says did invalidate. So the reason it's doing that is because I still have to have some entitlements I have to add. Uh, I have to make sure that it's using the right provisioning profile. One thing you can do is you can log the error message if you run into this issue yourself, which almost everyone is running into it, which is why I'm making this video in the first place. So I'm going to log the error. It is almost definitely the entitlements because I, I know you need them and I know I haven't added it, but I just want to walk through it with you all real quick. So I tap read NFC. Session is invalidated unexpectedly. So what we need here are entitlements. And the easiest way to get the template, I find, is just turn something on and then just sort of turn it back off after it's done. That usually creates an entitlements file. That actually didn't do it for that one. Turn on like app groups. See, now we've got enti an entitlements file and you see it's got, oh, app groups, it's turned on. Uh, and we could just turn it off. You know, maybe you're not actually using it. I love that little slider, it doesn't work right. Okay, so now we look in the entitlements file, there's nothing there. Uh, you can open it as source code. And if you look on my blog, there's this these couple of lines here that you need to grab and just paste it right in to where it says dict right here. It's actually, uh, that's a shorthand for uh, that it's being opened and closed. You need to put it in between the middle. Wow, that was automatically typed to div. My uh, web coding days coming back in full force. So I'm gonna open this back up as a property list. Looks good. It's got the value in there. Let's try it again. Let's see if it uh, does the same thing or if it's if it's still a problem. I'm gonna plug my phone back in. Session in is, in, is invalidated unexpectedly. This could be for a couple of reasons, but the first one I wanna check is that the entitlements file that was created is actually still being pointed to in the build settings because I did turn it back off. So type in entitlements there and it's not actually set up anymore. So I'm gonna add tag reader, same thing, tag reader entitlements. It's basically just a point to this file here. Let's try it again. All right, I rebuilt it, press the button. It says did, did, did tap read in NFC and then the application crashed. So why did it crash? Another thing you have to make sure you do when you're using NFC is you have to go and add a usage string. That's what I was alluding to earlier as far as customizing the prompt that shows up that's saying it's gonna use the tag reader. The only customization you can make is that string. So go to your info P list and type in privacy dash NFC scan usage description. So this will say basically we are going to scan in NFC because something, something. And it's just going to be to detect tags. That's all we're doing with it. Uh, so let's give that a try. So let's run it. Okay. Now I'm going to press read NFC here. And the little scanner comes up. So the little scanner basically means it's waiting to pick up an NFC tag. So I have one right here. I'm just going to put it behind there. And I can't see. Oh. There it went. So it read the NFC code and it just says unknown. Um, so let's dig in, see if we can get it to say something a little more interesting, uh, see if we can make this work a little bit better. So I'm gonna go into the NFC helper and I'm just gonna do something a little more interesting. I'm gonna call a callback based on uh, the results of the NFC reader. And I'm gonna be able to use that in my view controller to show some text. So I'm going to create this variable that's just a uh, it's just a completion handler. Um, so it's called on NFC result, and the type is going to be a function, and it takes uh, a bool for whether or not it was successful, and then just the string message for what uh, came out of it. So I'm going to call this function basically just when I get a result. So on NFC result. And I'm just going to return if it doesn't exist. So here's invalidate, so it's false. And then the error, I'm just going to use the localized description of whatever error the uh, core NFC passes along. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing here. And I'm just going to call it with true this time. 
and then just whatever I want my result to say. Now my result is going to be based on the payload from core NFC. So in order to get the payload, you have to go through, you'll loop through the messages and then loop through the records in those messages and then get the payload out of, payload out of each one of those records. So before I do that, let me just loop through for message and messages for record and message records. And they also give me each one of these, you can see is an in NFC and DF payload. And if you look at the documentation, you can see it's got an identifier, payload uh, type, and a type name format. We're really just interested in the payload for right now. If you want, you can dig into the rest, but this is really what's useful to me for my imp uh, particular implementation. So I'm gonna get the payload as a string. For each one of these. So there's a, um, I think it's a string initializer that takes data. Well, anyway, and I think it takes a uh, encoding type or something. Is that it? Yeah. So if it's able to get that, we're just gonna we'll call the result there inside the loop. So this will actually call this multiple times from if the, if there's multiple messages or multiple records in a single NFC chip, uh, it'll 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 trigger this multiple times. But that's okay. Uh, it's result result string. So now I just need to actually set this function in my view controller. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna create. A, I be, basically I'm gonna let me add a label. Let's call it payload label. And the frame, I'm just going to grab the button frame and offset by, uh, see so what's the height, 200. It's all offset by like, uh, I don't know, 220, just to give it a little bit of extra space. Oh, wait, the height is 80. This is that. So it's actually, it needs to be at around 300. Okay. So that should work. I'll make sure it supports multiple lines. Uh, so number of lines, just say it's 10, because it's never going to be more than 10. Uh, and for now, I'll make the text just say, scan an NFC tag. So I'll go ahead and add it to the subview. So now we have a label that we can update in a minute whenever we get this callback from the NFC reader. And uh, we have a button and all this stuff. That needs to be a var so that I can actually change, so I can actually assign it. All right, so when I, when I click did tap read NFC and I start this session, before I do that, let me set in a result feed uh, handler. So I'm just gonna say it's, um, let me create a function for it. On NFC result, success, and then also uh, there should be like a message. So now I can say on FC result that that completion handler is just going to be my own uh, on FC result with those with those two arguments, the success and the message. So now I can say set the text of the payload label to whatever the message is. And, you know, I add this success variable that's true or false. I don't really need it for this demo, but it would be useful like 99% of use cases. So I'm going to keep it there, but I don't actually need to use it right here. Uh, oh, one more thing. You should probably do this on the main thread. So get your, uh, whoops, get your dispatch queue, get the main thread, and just, you can run this asynchronously. Of course, when you do that, you're going to need a reference self. Yeah. Okay. So let's give that a shot on the device. So it says scan an NFC tag down there. I hit read NFC, the scanner comes up. Uh, so I actually have another tag here. Let's read this one. There it goes. And it says unknown again. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's the way I wrote these tags is using an Android app. It's like it's adding an extra record or something. So let me 
let me just append a new line every time. So whatever the payload text is, I'll just append on top of it, just so we can see what's happening. So that'll basically just put whatever the payload text already was, it'll add a new line, add the new message that came in. And uh, so something's optional, I guess the payload, what's, up, what's optional? Well, anyway, it's never going to be nil because I'm setting it on an it. So anyway, let's try that. Okay, try it again. Read NFC. I'll just use this tag again. Okay, so now time, that time it actually showed what it was supposed to be on this one, which is my in my URL and my Facebook page. Uh, I guess we could try it again. Let's see, read NFC. We'll try this. I have this little yellow one. Didn't work that time, but I think it's because, uh, let me clear out, let me just clear out this text every time, basically right here. I'll just clear it out every time you actually actually click the did tap button. So run it one more time. So here I've got the test app opened up. I'm gonna press read NFC. Okay, and it pops up the little scanner. Now I have a NFC code here or an NFC tag. So if I just hover over it just for a moment, See, it comes up and it says, maybe you can see that. Let's see, so that's just from reading off of this NFC tag. I also have this tag just to demonstrate that, you know, it is different code. So if you look here, it says my URL, but I put this one up on there. Oh, I have to press read NFC. So it's ready to scan. So I'll put this one up on behind it now. There's a weird edit here because the camera got all blurry. And now it reads NFC3, which is the name I put on this tag. So I've got this code available on GitHub and I go over it in the tutorial on my site. Uh, this is pretty much uh, all you need to be concentrating on as far as core NFC goes. The rest is just some view controller code. So you could take this and implement your own NFC systems uh, for whatever your use case are. Anyway, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely subscribe and like my channel on YouTube. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time.